Huge thanks to my exclusive Computex sponsor, ASRock. I use an ASRock Tai Chi Ultimate motherboard in my personal rig and I absolutely love it. So make the right choice for your next build and get yourself an ASRock motherboard. Links are in the description down below. As promised, here's the ASRock X570 Aqua, which is an absolutely crazy looking X570 with a full inbuilt CPU water block, which extends all the way down to that very hot chipset because of PCIe 4.0. Now only 999 of these are going to be made, and the price is also going to be $999, which is quite a bit. However, it does come with premium materials, including lots of aluminium, which means it's quite heavy. I did hold it and it's got a bit of weight to it. Now it also comes with a 14 phase VRM with 60 amp chokes, which is really good to see. Uh, Wi-Fi 6, Thunderbolt 3 with two Type-C connectors, 10 gigabit LAN, three reinforced PCI slots, and an internal display port connector for your GPU, which is really good to see. So this is obviously aimed for the ultra enthusiasts out there. Uh, they're only gonna be making 999 of them. So if you're wanting to get one, you're gonna have to get in quick. But yeah, this is an awesome motherboard. It looks crazy in person, and uh, I was very impressed by it. Now, I also checked out ASRock's refreshed line of Intel Z390 motherboards, especially the Phantom Gaming X, as that really caught my eye. So let's start with that one. So the Z390 Phantom Gaming X is a high-end Z390, the world's first one to feature 802.11ax Wi-Fi 6, which is about 40% faster than 802.11ac, which many of you guys will be familiar with. Now it comes with a 14 phase VRM and it looks awesome, like the, with the RGB and everything. The Tai Chi Ultimate is much more uh, subdued by comparison, more subtle. This one's a lot more out there and I do really like the look of it. It also has a uh, 3M.2 slots under that huge heat shield there. And this one is not going to be Azeroth's flagship, that's still the Tai Chi Ultimate, uh, but it is going to be just below the Tai Chi Ultimate, so the second best Z390 in their lineup. And I think it would be good for those people out there uh, that want something that stands out a bit more than the more subtle Tai Chi Ultimate. Now another one that I checked out was the Z390 Steel Legend, which is a more mainstream Z390 motherboard. Now just like the X570 Steel Legend, which I talked about in my previous video, it has a focus on good looks and RGB, and it is a really good looking motherboard when you see this in person. It also has a big aluminium heatsink, 10 phase VRM, and this is going to be one that's going to be popular for those looking for a more value for money orientated a Z390. It's still going to be very good, you know, good features there, but it's going to be coming in at a lower price point so that more people can afford it. Whereas the Phantom Gaming X is definitely a high end enthusiast tier a Z390. I saw a few other ASRock motherboards for the Intel CPUs that have been released a while back. So they still have a large lineup of Intel motherboards for those of you looking to pick up, say, a 9700K or a 9900K, because they're going to probably be going on sale sometime soon. You might be able to grab yourself a really good deal. Those CPUs are still very powerful for gaming, uh, and they're still really, really solid. So if you're looking to grab one of those and get yourself a Z390, then definitely check out some of these ones as the Azeroth Z390 line is really good. And hey, I run a Z390 Tai Chi Ultimate and it's probably one of the best motherboards I have ever owned in my entire life. So yeah, they are really good. So that wraps up my Azeroth motherboard content. Make sure you tune into my next video as I'm gonna be giving away an Azeroth graphics card. So make sure you're subscribed for that and as always, I'll see you guys next time.